All right, my friends, if you have not noticed, I am just a little bit hyped about Jedi right now. I love the Jedi. I love Jedi. The I Jedi are working. Oh, <laughs> how cool is this? All right. <laughs> Look, Jedi are my thing. I'm so excited that we got some love for the Jedi, and I am personally on my main account working on the teams that I have showed you, but it does really feel to me like the core four here are going to be Grandmaster Yoda, Hermit Yoda, Ezra, and General Kenobi with that fifth kind of being a flex spot. Some of you may be thinking about doing the same, and if you are, especially if you are because of my videos, I want to educate you just a little bit more on five things that you need to know before you start blitzing the Jedi. Starting with number one, and this is going to be very important, Jedi are not meta right now. I want them to be. I pray that they will be, but currently right now they are very anti-meta which the biggest thing that you need to understand and i am showing you right now on the screen is that the jedi are gonna suck on defense here's a bunch of battles of the jedi versus the meta on auto with the target removed so you can kind of see how they're gonna behave they're probably i mean i'm just gonna be honest pretty much anybody with good mods is probably gonna be able to go against your very well modded jedi team hit auto and call it a day for now so you're just going to need to be aware of that. Now, some people, you just want to have fun in the arena. That's me right now. I want to put Jedi in either way. As soon as I have the Zetas I need, I'm going to move the mods. I'm going to put them in and I am going to be perfectly happy to fall down a little bit more than I should overnight. If you're okay with that, go for it. If you're not, you may want to wait to use the Jedi. Number two, I'm going to add to number one. Number one was the Jedi are not meta. Number two is yet now i do not have inside information i do not know what is ahead but one thing i do know is that anytime something happens in the game there's usually more that comes with it for example when we got emperor palpatine and vader reworked that rework was great and it worked it was kind of more of an anti-meta team at first though right it was able to beat the meta but on defense it really pretty much sucked and not very many people were using it from a practical standpoint however shortly after that we got darth scion who was really the glue that brought that team together we've seen this pattern time and time again with reworks like this so we did have a clarification that no other jedi are getting reworked here's the post right now from reddit from Capgas, where he says no reworks for Jedi. But notice in this post, there's nothing in there about no new Jedi coming to the game. Could the Jedi be having a Darth Scion of their own coming that will be the glue that takes them from anti-meta to meta, or at least more practical? I think that is very possible. I do not know if that's going to happen. I am only speculating that that could be around the corner, and I'm pretty much, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm kind of banking on it. That's what I really want to happen. Number three is that Hermit Yoda must go first especially if you are going against an emphasis nest team this is very important and so if you are going to run the jedi i would strongly urge you to check and see if you have the mods to make it so that your hermit yoda will be going first over the other nests in your shard now this is very practical if you have got the mods farmed you should be okay because hermit yoda has plus one speed advantage on nest on base speed as you can see here so if you have e at least equal speed mods to the other team's nest, you can go first. All right, so I'm actually going to demonstrate this for you live in a battle. Now, let me show you these speed stats live. They are down below in the description, but just so you can see right in front of you, I've got nest at 303 speed here. I, and that's plus 132. That's really fast. My Hermit Yoda has exactly the same amount of speed added, 132, but the 304 on the speed. So Hermit Yoda will get a turn before Nest. And the beginning of this battle is going to be very, very critical if you want to be able to win it. So ch check this out. So her here we go. Hermit Yoda gets a turn. Now we need to call Grandmaster Yoda because Grandmaster Yoda will do his basic and then that will also give him a turn meter boost off the basic, which allows him to beat Nest to the punch. So check this out. We'll call Hermit Yoda, or Grandmaster Yoda. Boom. He gets to beat Nest, and so we can use Battle Meditation. Now Nest uses his, um, her AoE, which gives us all of the buffs and the turn meter boost, which allow us to go ahead and win this battle. So we're going to be able to take Treya out. 
Boom, boom. So look at that. Just a few turns in. We take a tray out. We can work on Palpatine. He is doing really well. And we are going to be able to win this battle. Now let's contrast this with what happens if Nest has more speed than Hermit Yoda. So let's go into Hermit Yoda. Let's just take one of these speed mods off. Let's see here. We've got a 20 speed right there. A 22. Let's just replace this 20 speeder with a 13 speed. Um, here we go. Let's take this off. 13 speed. Okay, there we go. So now we're at 297 speed, which is still pretty fast. But look at how different this battle plays out if Hermit Yoda does not get that first turn. Here we go. So we're dazed. We've removed the turn meter. We have pain on us. It's like boom, boom. So much went wrong right out the gate. It's hard to go for... I mean, you don't really want to go for Trey when she's got the protection up. Uh, but you're going to have to anyway. Look at this. Now we got cooldowns taken from us. Hermit Yoda hasn't even been able to take a turn. General Kenobi can't cleanse because we've got um, Isolate on him. Ezra's almost dead. Ezra is dead. Yoda's dead. Look at how vastly different that battle plays out. So you need to have your Hermit Yodas going first. Tip number four is how to use Master Stroke. Now, <laughs> I had a really funny experience here. In my first video I put, I had several comments about using Master Stroke too much. And then the next video, I decided not to use it very much at all. I, I don't know if I even used it once. And I had comment after comment after comment after comment that I did not use Master Stroke. Why aren't you using Master Stroke, Cubs fan? Okay, there is a balance here. On using master stroke so the logic there, there's two edges of this first of all the reason why you want to use master stroke is you get a turn right away you get a, you get an immediate bonus turn so why not right the reason why not is if you get countered by heavy characters like nest it might not be worth it to deal small amounts of damage to every character on the team so you may want to not use master stroke however the condition that I will add to that is to not use Master Stroke if there are counterers on the other side that you don't want to be countered by. But there is offense up on the other side. After Palpatine uses his ability and he's got that offense up, you may want to go ahead and steal that buff and then spread it with Battle Meditation so that the rest of your team can hit very hard. So the sweet spot for me, I think both camps are right. Yes, don't use Master Stroke all of the time when there's a good counter uh, team on the other side. However, when you can steal um, when you can steal offense up or a good quality buff like that, bring it over to your team, spread it to everybody. It probably is worth using Master Stroke. Just don't do it at the expense of Yoda dying. And then number five is that Zetas are absolutely critical to this team. And the Zeta order of priority, I'm going to say, is number one, Yoda's leadership. This is what really makes this team click. You saw that before in the battle with Ness, where Ness was, you know, you know, Yoda was able to get battle meditation up. And then because we had all of those debuffs resisted, we gained Terminator, we gained the offense. Very important to getting that flow of battle down right early in the battle. Ultimately, turn meter gain is king in the arena. We know that we have a speed meta, so you're going to have to find ways to gain turn meter, and that is what makes that leadership so OP. The second most important Zeta is going to be battle meditation, in my opinion, and I'm going to say really, especially if you're going against Nest, they're both going to be equally as important. Yoda's lead, both of Yoda's, uh, Grandmaster Yoda's Zetas. The reason why you really need a Zeta on battle meditation is because the Zeta is what adds the foresight spread. Now, if Yoda had foresight already you'd be okay but he doesn't at the beginning of the battle and so you really need to be able to spread that to the rest of the team so that when Nest does her AOE you are able to dodge it and that really helps get you all those bonuses that you need so that you can control the flow of battle early. I definitely feel like a Zeta is going to be very important on strength flows through the force. What that gives you is it takes a cooldown away so you can do more of that really effective healing and it also adds all allies recover 20% protection and Jedi allies gain foresight for two turns. So that gives you extra dodges which are very very important to the battle. After that I'm going to say Flourish is on the priority list just because it gives you so much damage. I mean we have seen Ezra in the last few videos hit for so much DPS very very important and then whoever that fifth is they're probably going to need zetas if you are running fulcrum ahsoka tano you are going to want a zeta on whirlwind if you're running commander luke you probably already have those zetas um if you're running visus mar i would want to have those zetas there and so i would say but the, to get the team to work you're going to need both of grandmaster yoda zetas and then after that everything else is going to be good to have but probably not essential to have the team at least start clicking
All right, my friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you are super stoked about the Jedi, let me know how you feel in the comments below. This is so exciting to me, but I do also want you guys to be aware of what you're getting into. If you're going for Jedi, there are some catches here. Hopefully, we can overcome them with some new Jedi coming to the game. They're going to make Jedi meta, but on the off chance that that doesn't happen... Definitely be aware this is a pure offensive team. Not going to do super good on defense. There's some attack strategy tips that are going to help you. You need to have your Hermit Yoda go before anybody else, especially Emphis Nest. And then also be aware of the Zetas that are important to have the team work. Let me know what you guys think about the Jedi down in the comments below. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and do so. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.